to start by the Tercería de Dominio, as you see, what the Alcantara has done, at the end was the proper way to do it. Not to make opposition to a demand who was not against you, was against somebody else. You don't have to do that. But anyhow, things are done like this. But and we have not, we don't know exactly because there is another case, new case. You told me no. so, yes. Because this we received it uh, two days ago. That's, we have not, we don't know the content, we know there is 90,000. But we have to, we don't have powers of authority that we cannot go and check it directly. We will have to make an opposition immediately of this. And, uh, well, uh, the, the situation is complicated because uh, it was not really properly done. Huh? Uh, Pedro, can you please yes. take it from there? On? <laughs> yes. Uh, from the different files, uh, you know, there seems to be like three files, but the, uh, I have identified at least eight different files, eight different issues. Um, starting from from the newest one, then we have this last the, this last case that is uh, most of them are from Marinas y Pantalanes against um, Freedom Charter GmbH or Quaves Limited, and this one the well, the the. Um, the claim was lot, lodged to the court last year in October, but it's been it's been first notified to to the procurador. You know what the procurador mm -hmm. is, Miguel Ferragut, on the first of uh, February this year. So we have twenty labor days to to reply. I don't have the complaint, a copy of the complaint. I just have the notification, and I sent yesterday an email and called uh, Miguel Ferragut to ask him please to urgently to give us a copy of it. Mm -hmm. I after reading all the files I can presume that this this claim uh, this new claim is a, exactly more or less the same one as the, as the last one uh, the, the ones presented before and should be regarding the the cost of the mooring place in 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 this marina. I guess as well that they will ask again to uh, place an embargo upon the, the ship uh, and, and, and which is already being accorded by the court but I, I think they will continue doing it. In that case we have to wait till receiving just to confirm yes the claim is about invoices of the uh, mooring place from whatever date till the date it was presented, and uh, the opposition for that, I don't know. Uh, I guess that goes back to the to the old story or for the no. very beginning. I mean, what can I say against the claim of the services or the or everything. the place? Absolutely everything. It's fraudulent. It's extortion. And I think, and I have an email prepared for you, which I just did not know which address to send it to. Yep. We should not answer this claim. We should file criminal charges. I've had it. This is pure criminal intent. There is nothing legitimate about it. Nothing. Zero. I mean, like, literally, zero. It has been fraudulent to begin with, with Freedom Charter GmbH which is none of my concern. It's not my company. I'm not Mr. Seberg. I was not there. Whatever deal they made with each other, I just know they don't even have a contract with the previous owner. Mm -hmm. They base a claim in court on a self-fabricated Excel list. This I have not heard in any civilized country. They have no contract and they have no contract with me. They're holding us against our will illegally because they put the embargo on the boat six days too late. Six days too late is six days too late. Doesn't matter if it's one day too late, six days too late, or six years too late. They cannot hold my ship for a claim they have against the previous owner. That's By this creating That's new correct. claims. Isn't that beautiful? You hold a boat totally unnecessarily. Hold on, So this, this has to end. This is not civil case, this is not a justified claim, least of all against us, because we've never, we've never signed a contract with them. We never want to be there. 
We've never been given a choice. They're holding us against our will, creating a claim for amounts which are, they're, they're, they're so absurd, they're already obscene, because the birth where they're holding us is absolutely, utterly, totally worthless. It's not a birth you can charge any money for. Go and have a look. Yeah, We're right I opposite. Uh, I know the boat from the I very know. beginning. Everybody knows yeah. it. Everybody in Palma knows this yes, boat. Yes, and I have been there to see the boat. It's not a good place for having... It's uh, a terrible place. I made documentaries about it's this place. It's perfect for them. But it's, it's for them it's perfect because it's it doesn't like need any money. No, it doesn't you, need you any you money. You see the two boats besides, I mean, along, along that one, the, the works, this one works as a barrier. Exactly. 